welcome back to Vlogmas. So today I have managed to get really last minute tickets to Warner Brothers Studio Tour or Harry Potter Hogwarts in the Snow. So this is obviously, I'm sure you're familiar with it, a studio tour. So it's the place where they filmed Harry Potter and they've still got all of the sets there. So you can wander around the sets, have a look at all the props, the costumes. I have been five times already. I am slightly obsessed. But it's always amazing when you go back around the Christmas time because they have it all decked out for the festive season. It's so, so pretty. And this is just the excuse I'm justifying this visit with. But they also have a new section which is the Forbidden Forest, which I haven't seen yet. So I am very, very excited to be going along. We actually couldn't get tickets for months. They've been sold out throughout December for months. But I knew that if you kept checking the website, there might be like really last minute tickets come up online so I had a look this morning because I thought it's snowing a few people might not be able to get in maybe people have cancelled so maybe some tickets have been reallocated online and sure enough I managed to grab literally the last few tickets for today so we're gonna hope that the roads are clear because it is still quite snowy we're gonna drive really safe and slowly and make our way over to Watford and then we're gonna go round the Warner Brothers studio tour which I'm so so excited about I'm probably gonna have to be quite restrained with myself with regards to buying stuff in the shop because it is quite an expensive place I know I said last time I think I did a whole review on my blog and I said it is an amazing experience but I do feel that some Sometimes it is a little bit overpriced and I know those kind of places are but I love it anyway it is worth it and I just feel so happy I feel like a big kid I think that's the thing about Harry Potter you just can absorb yourself in the magical world you can escape your world and just feel like you're in Harry Potter basically so I am very very excited I'm sure this vlog will be very jam-packed with lots of magical festive Harry Potter things and I look forward to taking you along with me So we're here, we made it in the snow, it wasn't actually that bad and it took us about an hour. So we are here, we're just very, very hungry as usual. So we're getting something to eat and then we're gonna head off. I love books, so when I go back to London, in a place to real empty. We would take home things to read, books, scripts, articles. And one day I read an article in a newspaper about this book called Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. She called the agent and got the book in and it sat on the bottom shelf, the low priority shelf. And as the sort of lowest rung of the office, I was, I guess, got given the stuff that nobody else really wanted to read. <laughs> and so Nisha took it home. And on Monday morning, I, I sat in our office and said, has anybody read anything good? I came in on the Monday and just said, Harry Potter was an absolute page turner. I was very excited and I think David had never seen me so excited about anything ever before. So I took the book home and I didn't put it down until I finished it at 4.30 in the morning. It was absolutely gripping and I fell madly, madly in love. It just was special and in many ways, I think, unparalleled. It was reminiscent of classic children's fiction. Initially, it was our little secret and then it was on the cover of Time magazine. That was really a flashpoint. You knew that it had started to detonate the culture. So our mission was to make the very best films of these books that we could. I thought actually that it would be a modestly sized British film. It became obviously much more than that. So we're in the Great Hall at the moment. It's absolutely amazing. It's all decked out for the Christmas feast. It is the exact set that the films had. So it's pretty amazing if you haven't been here already. I have been here five times, but the effects never really wear off.
these are just the four different types of snow that they use throughout filming. So you've got um, shredded plastic here, um, and then shredded paper here. So these were both used for any exterior shots, for any um, like landscape shots, yeah. like the ones you see here in the photos. Uh -huh. um, and then you've got salt here. So this wasn't actually used on the grind, this was used for the sound effects, so the crunching that you hear. Right. So what they would have done is they would have got a snow blanket like this, um, just covered it in salt, just got a little microphone at the side of it and just had someone walk across oh, really? it and then that creates that like nice crunching wow. sound that you get. Um, and then you've got this one up here which is always everyone's favourite. Um, this is polymer, so it's like a powder mixed with water. Um, and it's quite yeah, sticky, it so what they used this for was the actors themselves, so any costumes or anything like that. Because um, it made it look then like they were like, walking through the snow. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. One of them in the Harry Potter magic.
through the Forbidden Forest and now we're coming on to platform nine and three quarters. your nose too. <laughs> so unfortunately I can't drink the butter beer because it isn't dairy free. I think the actual butter beer is dairy free but then the shortbread foamy topping isn't. So David's going to enjoy it for the both of us. and I'm really sorry if my makeup is all over my face it normally is at the end of the vlog to be honest and I'm sorry if I have kale in my teeth too so I was hoping to end this vlog actually at Warner Brothers Studios but really disappointingly and I'm so annoyed about this my camera ran out of battery even though it was fully charged it had been on charge I'm very good at remembering to charge my battery but unfortunately I think it's wearing out 
or I don't know, it's about a year old. So I think it's on its way out and it lost charge about halfway through. So I did try and capture the last few bits on my phone, but I'm really disappointed that I didn't get more on my camera. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed coming with us to Warner Brothers Studio Tour Hogwarts in the Snow. That was my sixth time back, fifth or sixth time. I'm pretty sure I said it at the start of this vlog. And it was just as magical, although I didn't go quite as mad in the shop. I remember the first time I ever went, I bought a wand, I bought various chocolates, I bought sweets. I pretty much bought the shop. This time, it's obviously nearing Christmas and it's an expensive place to go anyway. I mean, you go there, it's £35 a ticket each. And then you have food and various things on the way round, including butter beer, which we got. And if you are dairy free or vegan, you can drink the butter beer. You just can't have the shortbread foam top, just as a note. So yeah, it is an expensive day out, but we had a lovely, lovely time. And I'm glad that I didn't come away with various different ones because I don't need them. I'm not a witch or a wizard. So if you are thinking of going yourself, I know they're fully booked for Christmas, but they do have lots of spaces in January. I think they've still got Hogwarts in the Snow going on well into January, so you won't miss out on that. And obviously they've got the new Forbidden Forest open too, which was really good. They've got like smoke, they've got thunder and lightning, they've got the spiders. So that was really fun to see that new bit. And I'm pretty sure they've also added some other like inserts so things like the horcruxes which weren't there last time they also had some costumes from the defense against the dark arts scenes so there was lots of new things so i like that every time you go back even if you're a bit obsessed with it like i am you're always going to see something new so yeah i really hope you enjoyed coming along with this it was very busy so i'm sorry if the shots that i got aren't the best i tried my best but honestly there was so many people around I couldn't get my camera in half the time and had to battle to sneak a shot. So hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog and you've enjoyed coming with me and it's made you feel really festive and in the mood to watch all of the Harry Potter films back to back because I know that's probably what I'm gonna be doing tonight. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog and I shall see you again tomorrow for another Vlogmas.